All right. We then that, that are strong. We then that are strong. Ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. Now, hmm. weak preachers, weak leaders produce a weak people. That's right. The reason why so many people around the world complain about Pastor Jenner, they say he sound mean. He don't preach with love. You take an a, a inexperienced young parent who don't have what it, the necessary skill how to properly raise children and implement discipline. Well, that child may not have to wash his hands. And they would go in the refrigerator at will and run across the couch with his shoes on, and hit mommy back, hit daddy back. They think it's cute. Yeah. But when that little boy and little girl go to grandma and grandpa house where there's order. And grandma and grandpa say, ah, wash your hands. They don't even have to talk much. Grandma and just look at him. And right there he get that shame look. Yeah, he understand. Well, I'm like grandma and grandpa. Wherein the preachers in the pulpit today is like the young, inexperienced generation. Yeah. He's afraid to offend you. That's right. So this is why he invite in this church so-called Christian comedians. Yeah. You got to be a fool and a good fool if you think comedy, <laughs> a Christian comedian, represent the book. My Lord. Did the apostles and Jesus sponsor Christian comedy clubs? No. So this is what the modern churches say. Well, we have to resort to these methods in order to bring in the young people. We have to give the young people what they want. So if the young people say, let's have raffle tickets, they have the preacher don't say nothing. He lets you do it. If the, if the young people say, hey, hey, pastor, can we have a fashion show? Why, go ahead. That's right. Young so-called saved girls will come out with a skirt this big in a blouse, that big, half naked, showing their body all in church. And the preacher ain't going to say nothing That's right. because he's going to be out there looking at your daughter, too. Oh, yes. They will have so-called praise dances where they move all the chairs in the podium from the pulpit and turn it to an entertainment stage and have music playing over the speakers of some sinner so-called Christian group singing and they all dance into it and they say that's praise dancer. That's nothing but a bunch of sinners. That's right. The Lord says my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. The church supposed to be a sacred place That's right. so how is it you gamble smoke sell raffle tickets play the lottery have a church dance in the fellowship hall yeah. rent part of the church out to the neighborhood community so they can play get bingo and have christmas trees in your church yes he told you what his house should be that's right that's right. He said, my house. That's right. Shall be called a house of prayer for all the people. All right, what did he say? We then that are strong. We then that are strong are to bear the infirmities of the weak. We cannot to please ourselves. And not what? Not to please ourselves. We have a message that God call holy. Holy. Well, Pastor Jennings, you, no, 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 don't blame it on Pastor Jennings. God called it holy. That's right. And God said for us not to please ourselves. ourselves. Now, when you're not holy, when you're not holy, <laughs> when you don't have holy teaching, when you're not in a holy church, and you don't have a holy preacher, and you don't believe in the holy book, yes. and no one is standing for the holy word, yeah. then you got to have a church full of sinners. That's right. P pull that out. Pull that out and put it to the front there. Just, just pull it out. Slide it on out, brother. Slide it out. Slide it, out. <laughs> Slide it right there. Right there. Just right there is good enough. My Lord. This is in some of y'all church. That's right. Thank God for television. This is in some of y'all church. This is in some of y'all homes. That's right. Now, your pastor is telling you Jesus' birthday is coming on the 25th. Amen. Your pastor is a liar. The Bible ain't never said 
Jesus was born December 25th. Yeah. Not only is your pastor a liar, your mama. That's right. You talking about my mama? Your mama. Amen. Your daddy. Yeah. Children, there is no Santa Claus. Right. Your mama or your daddy bought them presents. That's right. There is no Santa Claus. Right. There ain't no man four and five hundred pounds coming down your chimney and live and talk about it. <laughs> Not today. Amen. Stop lying. This is heathenism. Heathenism. This is paganism. That's right. This ain't got nothing to do with God. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. 10th chapter of the book of Jeremiah real quick. Let me read it. Jeremiah 10, we'll start at verse 1. Come on, son. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Hear ye the word of the Lord that's coming to you now, Dover, Delaware, and the world. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith Geno Jennings. Thus saith the Lord. You hear this now? You Thus got to be a hypocrite to go back to your church tomorrow. Mm. You got to be a child of hell. That's when right. you go back home tonight, when you look at you, when you drive up to your house and see it all lit up and that fake manger got down there. Hey, tell me who that little dirty, ugly baby you got on your lawn. Oh, that dirty, ugly, plastic baby. That's right. You got on your lawn. Amen. And on your church grounds. Amen. Now, you may be ignorant, but do you know when you got a baby and you claim it's Jesus, you blasphemed? That's right. Because Jesus Christ is God and God said, make no image of me. Image of me. Who told you? See, that's blasphemy. Why is it, Pastor Jennings? God ain't no baby. That's right. When Jesus walked this earth, he ain't still no baby. No. Who told you he had blind hair, blue eyes, and white skin? Yeah. Who told you he was light skinned or brown skinned with dreadlocks? Yeah. You ain't never met him. That's right. He ain't walking the streets of Delaware. <laughs> Who told you he had curly locks? That's right. Who told you he had little pudgy toes? Amen. Who told you that he had little old fat knees? Yeah. Who told you he had plaits in his hair? <laughs> you bunch of heathens. Hear ye the word. You bunch of Dover, Delaware heathens. That's right. And when you go back home, you take that manger and collect it and put it in a plastic bag and set it out on trash day. Amen. Well, Pastor Jennings, that's the Christian thing. That's paganism. Amen. That's idolatry. Yeah. Who told you Mary looked like that? Yeah. Who told you Joseph looked like that? That's right. I want you to get the old troublemaker. I want to bring you back the Bible and get you away from these foolish church traditions. That's right. Everybody go hungry all year. Then the church get a spell from hell and want to give out turkeys in December. <laughs> hungry all year long. All year long, folks is hungry. And then the church get a spell from hell. And all of a sudden, want to get involved in the community, you That's bunch correct. of heathens. Amen. Jesus stayed involved. Yes, he did. Didn't he? Yes, yes he did. Amen. Go ahead. You see, folks ain't used to this kind of preaching. They used to Joel Allstein smiling all day long. You know, I, when, I, when I see my son and, and he bring me a glass of water. I just think, how fortunate. Yes, right. That's what he does. You listen to Joel Alstein, T.D. Jakes, Fred Price, Creflo O'Dollar. You people don't read the Bible. Every man of God in the Bible spoke out against the ills of society and spoke out against sin. These men you watch on television that you fall in love with don't mention sin, don't speak against sin. Only one message they got and it didn't come from God. Right. It came from the devil and it centered around money. Amen. Am I right, sir? Amen. Only a faker will come before the people and say, God says for you to bless me with a jet. Yeah. And you church go and suck us fall for it. Right. Let Pastor Jenner say, the Lord says he need a jet. Somebody will probably send me a model. <laughs> and they won't even have all the pieces. 
Uh, How is it that society, you see, I am, I'm from the hood. Like Brother Craig said, I'm from the hood. And any of you from the hood, you know a hustle when you see it. Oh, yes. How is it that many of you people are so educated? You are so educated, you can't see a racket. Church is the biggest racket in the world. And the reason why you cannot see the racket going on in your church, you don't know the Bible. The devil went in church business. That's why you got all these religions in the world. The devil's in church business. You talking about you in a Christian home and you got a bar? A Christian home with a six pack of beer. A Christian home and you smoke cigarettes. A Christian home smoking pipes. A Christian home and you got the symbol of a heathen. Amen. Finish up Jeremiah. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. What did God tell us? Thus saith the Lord. I want you to judge yourself tonight, Delaware. Mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen. What? Learn not the way of the heathen. I want you to judge yourself and ask yourself, are you a heathen tonight? Amen. A heathen. Heathen. Not a Christian. A heathen. That's right. Yeah, a heathen. Yeah. Not a Christian, a heathen. Heathen. I want to emphasize on the H, a heathen. That's right. Huh? I want you to. I want you to get the breeze. The Bible says Jesus breathed on them. That's right. A heathen. Amen. Judge yourself now. Amen. Judge yourself. Yeah. All of you that say Jesus was born December twenty fifth, you lied on the Son of Man. That's right. You lied on the Messiah. Right. You lied on Christ. Yeah. When you go to a church and your preacher got to preach a sermon, you got a heathen for a yeah. pastor. Yeah. In fact, if any of you here are pastors here in Dover, Delaware, and that's what you told the people, use a heathen. That's a heathen. Use a Pentecostal or apostolic or Baptist or non-denominational or Lutheran or Mormon. Heathen. Amen. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not. Learn not the way of the heathen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Why? For the heathen are dismayed at them. Read to Dover, Delaware, what the heathens do here. For the customs of the people are vain. Anything that's vain is no good. No good. What do they do, son? For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Oh. Cut it. You ain't got to cut it now. Yeah. They cut it for you and sell it to you. That's right. They cut the tree down at the forest. What they do, son? The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. What they do? They deck it. With what? With silver and with gold. Deck it. Deck it. And what did God call them that do this? Learn not the way of the heathen. And what do the heathen do to the tree? They deck it with silver and with gold. It's right there. Fa la 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 la. Now all mother, mother, father, son, daughter, all happy. Rudolph the fool, nose reindeer. He never had a shiny nose. You sing a liar, just like you tell one, you liars. That's a lie. Amen. You lie. You thought you was a Christian, didn't you? Mm-hmm. The word Christian means being like Christ. That's right. What do Christ and Christmas got in common? Mm. Nothing. Nothing. Because Christ is not a heathen. That's right. He ain't never left on record when his birthday was. No. Never. Never. Customs of the people are never. Amen. Give me the first chapter book of Luke. Mm -hmm. Let's see what month did Gabriel came, came to, to Mary. Mary. That's right. That's right. In the book of St. Luke, chapter one. Follow me. And we'll start reading at verse 26. Move quick. And in the sixth month. In the sixth month. The angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. And what? To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph. Now. Gabriel came to Mary in the sixth month. In the sixth month. So that means she conceived in the sixth month. That's right. But the English calendar, the sixth month, will be June. That's right. June, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, March. Fe February. Febu February. February. March. <laughs> You still don't have, that's a whole different season coming. That's right. That's right. They don't care. No. Six months. In the sixth month, the angel, the angel Gabriel the was angel sent from Gabriel God. The angel Gabriel was sent from God. Unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Sixth month. In the sixth month the he sixth came. Month. That's right. It didn't even give the date of the sixth month of the conception. No. It just said the sixth month. That's right. 
That's it. You're a bunch of heathens. Amen. Now go home to your lighted up house. <laughs> go home to your light up house. Amen. Because when you leave tonight, you know you're a heathen and you're not a, a Christian. That's right. Pastor Jennings, I'm a Christian. I don't care what you say. Give chapter and verse again. Jeremiah. Chapter Wait a minute. Where? Jeremiah. No. Jennings. Jeremiah. Gino Jennings. Jeremiah. Gino Jennings. Jeremiah. I didn't call you a heathen. Mm. Jeremiah. <laughs> That's right. The prophet Jeremiah. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto Who you. Who said it? The Lord the speaketh Lord unto you. The Lord said it through Jeremiah. You got Santa. If you listen at what they say about Santa, they put him in competition with God. Yes, they do. Because according to the Bible, God knows what you're thinking. <laughs> That's right. It is God that knows whether you've been bad or good. Amen. And it is God that's everywhere. Yeah. God didn't make reindeer to fly. <laughs> no. Santa is everywhere. Yeah. In one night, he's everywhere. <laughs> you bunch of lying heathens. Amen. If there was a man named Scrooge, he had the right spirit until three devils came. To him. <laughs> when the three devils came to him, he got nice too. Amen. If there was if there was a real Scrooge, he was all right okay. when he was against Christmas. Yeah. That goes to show you what happened to you when you go to these churches and they got Christmas wreaths on the door, Christmas wreaths all on your house. Yeah. And you talk about a Christian family. <laughs> you are a bunch of heathens. Thus saith the, the Lord. The Bible speaks plain. You lying Dover, Delaware heathens. Thus saith the Lord. Amen. Learn not the way of the heathen. Read what the heathens do. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. What do the heathens do? For the customs of the people are vain. Ha. You may as well go take your stuff back to Best Buy. You may as well right. take your stuff back to Best Buy, Radio Shack, Walmart, and Target, and Kohl's, and Macy's, and JC with her pennies. Amen. You may as well take your gift cards back. Yeah. You heathen. Amen. You are a bunch of heathens. That's right. When you holy, you don't give gifts to celebrate a lie. You don't accept exactly. gifts. That's right. You don't have you don't participate in Christmas parties on your job. That's right. You don't even bake nothing for the party on the job. That's right. Anything that endorses Christmas, God's people take a Bible stand because we refuse to be heathens. Amen. Right. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. 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 But you look at Joel Austin and T.D. Jakes, they have all the squires on television singing Christmas carols. Oh, yeah. Bunch of heathens. That's right. I'm going to point you to the Bible. Mm -hmm. hmm? mm -hmm. I'm going to point you to the Bible. If you don't want the Bible, stop telling people you're a Christian. Right. See, the people want the parts of the Bible that don't hurt them. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want him. Daniel in the lion's den and Meshach, Shadrach. In a bendigo. That don't hurt you. No. John the Baptist was in Jordan baptizing people. That don't hurt you. <laughs> no. Preachers that tell you that all day because he know that stuff don't touch your sin. That's right. You will sit there with your second wife and blow kisses at her while he talk about Meshach, Shadrach, and a bendigo. <laughs> Amen. Learn not the way of the heathen. For the customs of the people are vain. What you done was vain. I come here to ruin your Christmas. Humbug. <laughs> Amen. We're going to ruin it. Ruin it. You Lord. stop. You, you come out. You love your children. If you love your children, tell them the truth. Yeah. Why would you take them down to a mall to sit on the lap of a pervert? That's right. That's right. That's right. You got your daughter standing between a, the legs of a man you don't even know. Yeah. You got your son sitting on the lap of some old pervert. That's right. What's the matter with you? That's right. You're supposed to be a protector for your children. Go ahead. Go ahead. Man. Go ahead. I listen to the old troublemaker. For the customs of the people are vain. Vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Look at that tree and think of what's in your house. Amen. Uh -huh. You left your house. All them lights still blinking. <laughs> <laughs> you heathen. That's right. You're thinking about it while we're preaching. You heathen. Amen. What he said? For the customs of the people are vain. You thought you did something. Some of these fool people go try to compete with each other in the neighborhood. Yes, they will. Got the door, got lights on the doorknob, lights all on the roof, That's right. lights trimming the shape of the windows, lights trimming the shape of the house, yeah. Every, like a bunch of trash all on the on the house, yeah. all lit up. 
<laughs> and then want everybody to pray that God would give them a miracle blessing to pay the light bill. That's right. You're heathen. Heathen. Huh? Amen. Hey Amen. This is a soul stirring message. <laughs> I want to call you back to Bible. That's right. Because the church got away from the Bible and God made me deal with things to pull you back to the Bible. Amen. No need to shouting, no need jumping, no need falling out. Come on back to Bible so you can be sure that you are on the right journey to the kingdom of God. That's right. It ain't no such thing. You going to heaven anyway. No. Nobody going to heaven anyway. No, no. It ain't nobody going to step a foot in the kingdom unless you come on the Bible order that God left here. That's right. If God says stop, you going to stop. Yeah. If God say go, you going to go. Oh yes. If God say he's one, everybody got to say he's one. That's right. That's right. If God didn't say he's a trinity, ain't no need for you to say it. Amen. If God didn't say he's white, shut your white mouth up. Yeah. If God didn't say he's black, close your black lips up. That's right. That's right. Whatever God said, that's it. Amen. If God didn't say be sprinkled, you might as well close down your upright toilet bowl. Yeah. If God never said join the church, you ain't in no church. That's right. If God didn't say he's a Baptist, you might as well stop claiming it. That's right. That's right. If you really mean to go back with Jesus, then come on and respect the Bible that you claim you believe in. Amen. Learn not the way of the heathen. For the customs of the people are very quick. The one cut of the tree out of the forest. And what they do? The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Uh, they idolize that thing too, don't they? Yeah. Sometimes mother and father just sit yes. in the living room and drinking coffee, huh. looking at the tree, admiring, that's right. huh? admiring it, idolizing it, yeah. just looking at it. <laughs> uh -huh. They deck it with silver and with gold. <laughs> they fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. Uh -huh. They must needs be born because they cannot go. All right, let's go back to the book of Romans, if I'm correct. Back in Romans 15 and at verse 1. Real quick. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak uh -huh. and not to please ourselves. Yes. Let every one of us please his neighbor. All right. For it's good to edification. Uh -huh. For even Christ pleased not himself. What? Even Christ pleased not himself. Well, that let me know Christ is opposite from what's going on now. Oh, yes. What Christ stood for and what the churches are standing for is not the same. the same. There's a separation between the world and church. That's right. It should not be a Democrat or Republican coming in a church running for office. That's right. Pulpit is supposed to be for the word be preached. Amen. Not for somebody to run for a political position. And that ye may put difference. That you listen at this in Leviticus 10 10, that you may put difference between holy, between holy and unholy. How in the world can I vote for a Democrat or a Republican when your agenda is not the same agenda as the book? Amen. I can't strengthen the hand of an evildoer. No. That's right. Huh? No. I can't strengthen the hand of an evildoer. Amen. Look at the wicked president now, Trump. Mm, Trump. Full of the devil. Anybody that say he's not wicked, you're wicked. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Had a would be preacher write me. Trump believe in God. Just because someone mentioned the word God, that don't mean they believe him. No. For Jesus said, if you believe him, you will keep his commandments. That's right. He commanded for you to have one wife. Trump got about three or four. Three. <laughs> Amen. Man don't believe in no Bible? No. He don't believe in no Bible? He don't give two cents about the Bible. That's right. That's right. Even a sinner knows that. Know that. A sinner can be drunk and know it. <laughs> but these artificial Christians. Yeah. Amen. That's why they hate us, because I believe in standing up. You know, when you're not on a payroll and, and you wasn't elected as a preacher, man, you can preach free. Amen. These preachers can't preach free because the board of directors is going to start subtracting some dimes yeah. and dollars oh, yeah. from that paycheck. Mm -hmm. My pay is coming. Yeah. 
Who's going to give it to you? Jesus is going to do it. That's right. And it won't be dollars and cents. That's right. Bible said there's laid up for me and not for me only, but for all of them that love his appearance, a crown of life. Amen. All right. And that she may put difference between holy and Go back holy. to the book of Romans, son. Back at Romans 15, we're at verse 3. Yes. For even Christ pleased not himself, and but as it is written, as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproach thee fell on me. Yes. For whatsoever things were written a foretell. All right, Delaware, get this now. Whatsoever. I want to soak you real good in case you don't come back tomorrow. That's right. The Bible says. For whatsoever things were written a foretell. Whatsoever time, things was made up. Were written a time. No. Whatsoever things were suggested. Whatsoever things were written a time. Whatsoever things is the preacher's opinion. Whatsoever things were written a time. Your belief. Your religion. Is it written? Written. You can slide that heathen back. <laughs> That's right. Slide it back. Slide it back. I want all you that are watching, you do this too. Mm -hmm. Gone. Amen. Whatsoever things were written. A time. Was written for what? Were written for our learning. Where did it come from? That we, were, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures. Where did it come from? We through patience and comfort of the scriptures. It came from where? Of the scriptures. Where did your belief come from? Mm. Scriptures. If you got a belief, and you may find in the library, <laughs> or some famous person believe it, but it's not in the scriptures. Scriptures. Why are you so loyal to it? That's right. Why are we afraid to find out we were lied to? That's right. You mean to tell me you work for a company and you loyal and you don't want to be sure they paying you right? Mm. I mean, you don't want to be sure they are paying you right? Yeah. I mean, they telling you they're going to give you all these benefits. You're not going to do no type of background to check to make sure they're not just talking to sound good. That's right. You just gonna take it face value? Yeah. When you know your family depend on this income yeah. of your bread and your water and your bills. That's right. That's right. You gonna let them give you a song and a dance mm -hmm. and just take it face value? Yeah. If you wise, you not a fool. You know you won't do that. That's right. Why are you afraid to check up on your teachings? Amen. You go to churches that got a cross on the wall and an image on it. And you said that's Jesus. Yeah. When did Jesus pose for that? Oh, yeah. Who, who told you that was Jesus? That's right. Don't you know idolatry is a sin? That's right. That's right. You got pictures all around your house supposed to be Jesus. Who, who's that? That's not Jesus. No. Who is it? Somebody from the Bee Gees? Mm. One of the Beach Boys? Amen. That's right. A reggae performer? Yeah. John Lennon, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's one of the Beatles. Yeah. It's not Jesus. God spake all these words. Who told you Jesus looked like this? I want you to think of the lies you got in your house. That's right. Amen. Some of you got a picture of President Kennedy, Barack, and a little white Jesus. Yeah. And some of you got a picture of Kennedy or Barack or Martin Luther King and a little gingerbread color Jesus. Amen. You bunch of heathens. That's heathenism. You are heathens. That's right. God is not mocked. No. All them images in your house, you should not be bowing in front of no image, patting your head and both sides of your chest Amen. and your gut. Yeah. Jesus ain't taught you to do that foolishness. No, no. Hail Mary, the mother of God. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You's a liar. That's a lie. Mary ain't never been God's mother. That's right. Don't you know to be the mother of somebody, you got to exist before that one? Yeah. The mother got to be here before the God. That's right. That's right. God don't have no mother. Without father. Notice the book of Hebrews. Let's he see what God testified about himself. Hebrews chapter 7 and we're at verse I 3. I want you to get this, heathens. Mm -hmm. Heathens. 
Heathens. Amen. Heathens. Heathens. Amen. Get this. Hebrews chapter 7 and we're at verse 3. What is it? Without father. Without mother. Wait a minute. God don't have no father because he is the father. That's right. He don't have no mother. No mother. What's about Pastor Jennings? Didn't Mary birth Jesus? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, did she birth God? No. No. Why didn't she birth God, Pastor Jennings? Give me the book of John, chapter 4. John, chapter 4, and that verse 24. I'll tell you why she didn't birth God. God is a spirit. God is what? God is a spirit. God is a spirit. Mary ain't birth no spirit. No. Mary birthed flesh and blood. That's right. And the spirit of God was in that flesh and blood, and the flesh and blood had a birthday, and the birthday of the flesh and blood was the arrival of the Son of God. God was in that Son. That's right. That's right. That's like God is in me. Amen. God is not me. No. God is in me. That's it. That's it. Are you listening? Without father. God ain't got no father. God is spirit. God Amen. himself is the father. Amen. What else? Without mother. All of you that says Mary is the mother of God, you lied on Mary. You yeah. gave her too much credit. How she going to be the mother of the Karita? <laughs> Are you that ignorant? Amen. How? I want you preachers to get this. Now, come on, preachers. Preachers, here. How can Mary be the mother of the creator of the universe? That's right. Mary was the mother of the Messiah. That's right. Mary was the mother of the Son of God. That's right. Mary was the mother of the only begotten of the Father. And within that body that God begot, God was there. God was there. That's why the Bible says, to wit, God was in Christ Jesus, reconciling the world unto himself. Mm -hmm. Just like God was in that body that Mary birthed. God is in the body now, which is the church. That's right. Huh? That's right. 